What age does your ideal man have to 25. be? 25. 49. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Let's do like 20. 20 to what? 26. What race? Any. Any race? Oh, yeah. Even Asian? Yeah. Uh, I don't discriminate. I love them all. Have you ever dated an Asian? Oh, yeah. He was 26. Yeah, money? Yeah. What's the minimum height that he has to be? 5'10". I'm short, but like 5'10". Can he be obese? No. No? No. Uh, he has to be what? I go to the gym, so I want him to go to the gym. And what's the minimum income? Like a month? A year. I don't know, like a million? <laughs> A million a year? Yeah, why not? It doesn't even go that high. It's a, it only goes up to 500,000. Let's do 500,000. 500,000? 500,000. Yeah. Yeah. Your guy is 0.01% likely. It's okay. I'll find him one day. Bruh. I'll find him. 0.01. I'll find him. Five out of five delusion scale. <laughs> Goodbye. When the old boomers like Matt Walsh or Dave Ramsey wonder why the young generation aren't getting married, you could just point to people like this, these younger marriageable age women who are so delusional that you can have every stat and figure right in front of them and they'll still think they'll beat the odds. Social media's got these women believing that if they just wait long enough, that they too will have a billionaire Chad. And just because they read some girl waited long enough and they got their Chad, doesn't mean you will. That's like waiting to get rich by winning the lottery. And these women will wait as long as it takes. So the Matt Walshes and fellow Chad Cucks, what are men supposed to do when women are only going to accept the non-existent man? And they'd rather die trying to find that than settle with an average guy.